Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. This is going to be a video about a movie knife or movie prop. So pretty much all what I'm going to talk about is fictional. It's from a movie. Uh, just the hardware here that we see. This is reality. This is real steel. We have a real duct tape and so on. So I did see my first Predator movie a long time ago as that was shown over in Europe uh, back then with Arnold Schwarzenegger get back to the chopper and all that. Of course I did already know Arnold from the Terminator movies. I'll be back and all that. So his accent is a bit like my one because he is from Austria, I'm from Switzerland originally. So later on in 2010 Pred uh, Predators movie came out and there was again a fictional character in it of Walter Stans. Uh, basically named in the movie just Stans uh, which was again fictional uh, criminal uh, X-time murderer from the San Quentin State Prison in California. Uh, he got taken to a different planet for uh, a hunt as the movie goes along and uh, together with some other people that were not from the prison, mainly military and other force operated operators and they had firearms but Stan Stans did not have anything other than this chief. Of course this is a replica that is not the original one. I always wanted to test out such a, a design just to see how well it would perform actually. So now was the time to actually make such an item. And uh, the difference between a uh, sheath and a shank is that usually the sheath is a weapon that may have an edge, like we have it here, but not sharp, not ground in a way that it is sharp, because usually it doesn't have a sheet and it of course, for, for criminals, for uh, prison inmates, uh, they need to carry that on the body often, so that would be in need of a sheet. The shank on the other side would be a knife style or blade style weapon where it actually has a cutting edge, a sharp edge, and that would require then a sheet. So that's the, the difference there. So I never had a, a, such a device that is just ground a bit thinner uh, to the to the point there, but uh, it's not cutting at all. So it's it's like the the movie would uh, show it to you. It has a top uh, flat spot there, so it's strictly for stabbing. Of course, you can try to cut a bit with it too because it is a little bit more narrow but there is no sharp edge at all so that not gonna work out too well so I wanted to test that out and uh, this is simple steel with some duct tape on the handle so the item basically starts out as a piece of sheet metal just regular sheet metal uh, you get the shape they have online uh, some pictures of the the real deal there is also of course a dull uh, blunt prop version uh, as well so you cut that out you roughly grind it uh, and uh, basically the quality should reflect uh, what they could or would use in a in a prison or you know that it is a uh, homemade and uh, of course it has some 
some dings and grinding lines and this and that and the other and then you simply uh, put a bit of uh, edge on it without being uh, sharp uh, the point is relative uh, dull too that is exactly like they had it in the movie uh, we see that some dings and all that of course he as a fictional uh, murderer that did kill between uh, 24 and 38 uh, people he had uh, to use that weapon quite likely in prison too who knows and uh, so that is is uh, a bit uh, dull there on the tip as well uh, again no sheet so uh, you would not like to have uh, something that is sharp or really pointy in your pocket then the the uh, and here I just rounded it a, bit, a little bit off, uh, quite likely the original one still has a uh, sharp edges and then the the handle is wrapped with a tape. Uh, for this purpose I used Gorilla Tape, uh, that is a, a strong black tape, but of course any other tape will do, just that you have a bit uh, thicker a thicker uh, handle than, than uh, the plain uh, metal so it's a bit easier in your hand and they uh, give you a bit more grip now of course the movie prop got weathered down so they made a bit of uh, antique or weathered down finish on the blade and the handle part this one is still looking uh, relatively new I need to stone wash that a bit uh, that it looks a bit older now for the handling, he often is seen in the movie uh, to hold it like that and simply use it as a stabbing weapon. And we see the length, again comparing with the Victorinox uh, paring knife here, uh, you have quite, quite uh, a long part sticking out for a uh, stabbing or uh, slashing with that uh, dull edge so so it's quite a quite a item uh, the design I don't know if he had much idea about the design or not or if that just came from a piece of scrap metal which usually it is uh, so uh, he somehow got that metal and the tape and whatever but uh, of course uh, this is made to the shape, to the size uh, that you see online, one to one, uh, the correct size. And uh, yeah, that's that's how he mainly used it in the movies. Uh, sometimes you see him also uh, holding it like this. So the grip is not bad actually. Uh, since we have no sharp part here and the the part here gets a bit wider on top we have a bit of angle too uh, you should not easy uh, slip and uh, cut yourself because there is it's all dull by the second one as well so so a, a grip from a duct tape uh, not even not even a grip tape or a, you know like for for ice hockey tools uh, they use a special tape or for uh, tennis uh, rackets they use a bit of a different tape or even on, on uh, handles for bicycle I saw in USA they have a tape uh, that this is just a regular strong tape and uh, that is amazing how how well the item is in the hand and uh, how, how uh, slip resistant it already becomes and it's not yet weathered down that much either. Uh, the edge, the back edge is covered up with duct tape too. So we have it uh, basically sealed and working pretty well. Now I did not carry that thing. Uh, if you, how he would carry it, it's a bit unknown. Maybe, maybe he put it in a sock. Maybe he had it in his underwear. Maybe by the uh, by the uh, waist, uh, it depends on uh, on the closing and all that. For me, it doesn't. Uh, the whole test is not that much about carrying it, which would be legal in uh, USA where I live, no problem at all. 
uh, but uh, more to see how well such an item would actually perform, how how easy it is to manufacture, how easy it would be to use, and uh, what is the dis disadvantages of it, and all that. So that's why I made a, a second one. This one gonna be a bit upgraded. That is not uh, finished yet, of course. That's just the, the blade. So in this one, I gonna sharpen the blade. It's a non-heat treatable uh, regular steel, so it's not gonna hold an edge for uh, a long time. Uh, I see that. But uh, we're gonna fully sharpen it. We're gonna make a simple sheet, quite likely out of cardboard with duct tape uh, around it, uh, like like the handle. And I'm thinking about the handle, what I want to do. Uh, it needs to get a little bit thicker. Uh, because with my rather large hands, it should be a little bit uh, thicker than it is. Uh, so I want to wanna try the difference and uh, uh, quite likely put a little bit wood below it, maybe maybe three millimeters or something like that, you know, just uh, left and right, simply uh, glue it on and then do the same wrapping as we have here. So we still have the the rather good good uh, grip of the tape, but the whole thing is a bit thicker. And then we're gonna test it further. Uh, what is the difference uh, between the performance of the regular one that you basically can only use for stabbing that is dull, point is not pointy, then this one will have a pointy point all the way to the point <laughs> and the sharp edge and then a sheet so it's safe and uh, a bit a thicker handle for bigger hands. And then we see how that goes. Uh, this is not a not a item that I gonna sell or something like that. Uh, I don't think so. This is just plain fun for me to make something and uh, test it out. It's simple to make, and uh, then it goes in my collection. And since it's a, a movie design from Predators 2010 movie. Uh, not too many have that. I don't think such a, a item was uh, commercially sold uh, a lot and all that. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, the story of Walter Stan's uh, fictional story. Again, uh, I'm against criminals, I'm against crime. And uh, all that, it's just simply to test out the, the quite likely still in use uh, prison sheaves and shanks and uh, to see how they would perform in a real world.